Okay, this is Mick with American Air Cannons, and today's build is going to be with the Rainbird three-quarter inch water valve. This is model number CP075, three-quarter inch. First thing I like to do when I get these valves is I pull off the electronic part here. And I also take out the screw that allows pressure to be released. So we're not going to use this part or this part. Go ahead and throw these guys away. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to pop this lid off here. And I try to go diagonally to take the screws out so that you don't pinch the little rubber gasket in there kind of like putting a gasket on a header or a valve cover so you don't pinch it and it goes down perfectly level we'll do the same thing when we put it back together so once we got that out make sure you don't lose your spring we're going to set that aside. Go ahead and pop the screws out of here. Now a lot of these guys, they want you to drill out the hole in the center of this thing. Which is this piece here. We can take this sticker off. We don't need it. What I'll do with this sticker, we need to fill this hole. And we're going to put a plug in this hole. We're not going to drill this out like most of these other guys do. This is the old way of doing it. So you can see how this hole comes through from here to here. So I'm just going to use this sticker and put it on there. Because we're going to fill this hole with epoxy. Now they make a plug that's just a regular white plug for PVC. And I drill this out with a 7 16 drill and I insert this 3 quarter inch threaded nipple brass and I screw it down nice and tight and you might want to throw a little epoxy on that as well you can see how it protrudes down in here a little bit this is going to screw in here this is the new way that we're doing it nice and neat pretty much a done deal except for our epoxy so what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of epoxy to this a little bit of epoxy to this and then we're going to drill on a 45 degree angle this hole and that's going to be the new way that we do this valve so got a little bit of epoxy here And you can get the cheap stuff from any auto supply store or Harbor Freight. Nothing fancy. Make sure you mix it up real well. First thing we're going to do is take a scoop of this and we're going to drop it down in this hole so we can seal this up so the air doesn't leak out of it. Push it down in there a little bit. Make sure you get a good coating of epoxy down in there. And then we're going to take the rest of this epoxy. And we're going to add it to this. First thing I'm going to do though. There's a small pinhole at the bottom of this thing. That comes out the other side. We need to seal that up as well. So. i got a small 3 16th drill bit. 
I'm gonna drill that out a little bit so we can get some good epoxy down in there. Even if you drill all the way through, it doesn't matter. Make sure we put a little more epoxy in our hole here now that it's working its way down in there. Then we're going to throw some more epoxy down in this center hole. Make sure we get some good coverage in that. Help push it in there a little bit. If you run out, throw a little more on there. This stuff is super cheap. It's worth it to have a little bit of waste versus a cannon that's leaking air and wasn't built properly. Put a little more down in there. That should do it, it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna throw a little bit more down in that center solenoid hole that we have. And then the rest of it will apply to the threads of our plug here. Make sure you get a good even coating on there. And that will keep it from leaking any air. Looks pretty good. I'm going to screw this down in here nice and tight. You may want to take a pair of channel locks tighten it down nice and neat. All the way. It's going to bottom out before your brass nipple hits anything. So there we go. So that's basically all there is to it. All we have to do now is drill out the hole in the bottom using our 3 16 inch drill bit that we have in here. So we're going to let this set up for a minute. Okay, I think that epoxy is set up good enough now. You can see that we filled a hole here. We added epoxy to this part of it and screwed it in nice and tight so it settled in there. Let's go ahead and pull the sticker off the bottom of this thing because we don't want that to get gummed up with any firings that we have. And you can see how nice and clean that epoxy hole is there by just using the sticker that came with it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drill out this hole here at a 45 degree angle into the white part here so this can breathe through here. You can just do this by hand, super basic. Make sure you got a good solid foundation here. There's a little guide hole, a little pilot hole here you can use and just kind of get a good grip on it. Done. So you can see our pilot hole here now. It should be able to just blow air through it. Make sure you got all the junk out of there. Don't want any shavings in here to gum up the works. Now what we need to do is reassemble. Make sure that we line up the hole here 
with this little peg here. Make sure you don't lose your spring. Center it nice and neat. Push it down there. Put your screws back in. Like I said earlier, I like to go around the corner of the thing. I'm going to put our bit back in. Make sure it's seated nice and neat. And I'm going to start in the upper left. Now I'm going to go all the way down to like the 5 o'clock position. So let's say we start at 11, go to 5. Now we can go up to the 1 o'clock position. Back down to the 7 o'clock. And then 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So there's our finished valve. It's that simple. So what we can do is now we can test it. I built this little two inch PVC pipe with a cap, Schrader valve, and a plug on here. And that'll allow us to do an air test on it. So I'm gonna take this. We're gonna make sure that the flow, you can see it's got this little arrow here, the flow of air is going that way. So the air from this goes into the valve. And it doesn't have to be real tight. You're going to leak a little bit of air. But get it on there nice and snug. Have one of your blow guns without the tip handy. This is going to leak a little bit because I haven't put Teflon tape on it. But I just want to get a good, nice, snug fit on there. And now I'm going to fill it with some air. My little air compressor over here. You can just use a bike pump or anything for this. You can see it's holding air. And it's releasing air. So let's do it one more time. Make sure that it's seated properly. Nice, easy test. So that valve is working perfectly. We're going to unscrew our trigger here. Unscrew our valve. So a sticker on there. The date that we made this valve so we know when we made it. Today is 12 16 23 almost Christmas I'm gonna sign off on it put a piece of tape on that to hold it on there so we know that this valve was tested and passed by me and that's all there is to it box it back up send it out with the next air cannon that we're building here and off we go if you want more information visit us at americanaircannons.com we have kits that you can build yourself with pre-cut pipe or we build them for you and they're cheap they last for years and they're all kinds of fun thanks for watching